Hey guys, we're gonna be talking about logarithms today and focusing in on the quotient property. And uh, what I wanna start by writing down is, is the actual property, which is, if I was to say, take the log base B and let's call it, for example, X over Y, we would just simply say that that is the same thing as log base B of X minus log base B of y. Now let's make sense of this property because a lot of people are going, well, why in the world does that even hold? Okay, so the first thing I want to point out is that, hey guys, these are exponents. Anytime we use a logarithm, we're calculating for an exponent. Okay, and if we think back to the exponent rule, so for example, like three to the fourth divided by three squared, well, what do we do? We subtract those exponents because the bases are the same. So I would write three to the fourth minus two in the exponent. And then I would say, well, that is three squared. So let's make a little bit more sense of this statement. So let's take and write log. I'm gonna make up a problem here. Let's look at log base three, 81 over nine. Now you're wondering, did you just make that up? No, I didn't. Because 81 is simply three to the fourth power and three squared is nine. Okay, so let's go and just type this in just for the heck of it over in Desmos. Hey, boom, log base three, 81 over nine. It's a value of two. Okay, it's a value of two. Check this answer out right there. Maybe you'll know where we're leading to, boom, boom. Okay, and now let's just use the log property that's there. It says, essentially, take the top and subtract off the bottom and use logs with the same base. Okay, so let's do that. So I say log base 381 minus log base three of nine. Now you're probably thinking, let's go to Desmos and do this. No, 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 no. Let's make sense of this issue, okay? So remember that this statement, when we're talking about logs, it is just finding exponents all the way across. So this is the same thing as writing three to the X equals 81. And this one is simply saying three to the X equals to nine, okay? So three to the X equals 81, boom, that is four. We got the answer already. So I'm gonna write, hey, this is four. Three to the X, equals nine, boom, that is two, x equals to two, and we are gonna subtract it, four minus two equals two. Guess what, you're right, it is equal to two, we know that. So we just proved to ourselves, hey, all we gotta do with log properties is take the log at the top and subtract off the log at the bottom, and we keep the same base. Those are called numerators and denominators, I know that. Okay, so now let's go ahead and just do a quick problem. Let's say I wanted to find an expand, expand uh, the log base four, six over 11. Well, that's nice and easy. I just say, hey guys, that is the same thing as log base four, six minus log base four, 11. And that's all there is to it. The quotient property of logarithms is pretty straightforward. You can do it. Just keep it up. You guys are doing great. It's a beautiful day for math.